Hi everyone, I'm Mandy. Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today we're making stir-fried pork with green pepper, or what we call Qingjiao Rou Si. Although this recipe is simple, it involves a Chinese restaurant's secret. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you have wondered why the meat in the Chinese takeout restaurants is always tender and succulent. I'll review the secret today, and you'll be able to make perfect stir fry from now on. I have got here half pound of pork loin, cut it into thin slabs. Stack the slabs together and thinly julienne them. You can change to other meat, such as chicken or beef. It doesn't matter what you are using, as long as you know how to marinate it correctly, the meat will come out tender and soft. Season it with a quarter teaspoon of salt, some white pepper to taste, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, one egg white. If you don't know what to do with the leftover egg yolk, check out my General Tso's chicken. Last, one tablespoon of cornstarch. Give it a rough mix to combine all the seasonings then continue to massage the meat for 5 minutes. Using cornstarch and egg white in the marinade, then massaging the meat is a technique called velveting, or what we call shangjiang in Chinese. It creates a starchy layer which wraps around the meat, protecting the muscle fibers from seizing up. That's why the stir-fry meat in the Chinese takeout restaurant is always tender and juicy. I strongly suggest you try this method. You'll be blown away by the result. <laughs> okay, the meat looks good. <laughs> Add a big drizzle of oil and give it a rough mix. The oil prevents the meat from tangling, so it is easier to stir-fry later. All right, set it aside. Smash a few cloves of garlic so you can peel the skin easily. Then slice the garlic thinly. We also need some green pepper. These are a bit hot. If you don't eat spicy food, it's completely fine to use bell pepper. Just make sure you thinly julienne it so it matches the pork strips. Before we turn on the heat, we should quickly make a sauce, or what we call wan qian. 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, half tablespoon of oyster sauce, half teaspoon of sugar, half teaspoon of 5 spice powder, 1 teaspoon of cornstarch, a quarter cup of water. Mix well and set it aside. Turn the heat to high and heat the wok until smoking hot. If you want to make this dish the countryside style, you should use pork lard. Of course, if you don't like animal fat, you can use vegetable oil. Carefully add the pork and quickly season the meat. I love using a carbon steel wok. As long as you preheat the wok thoroughly, it becomes completely nonstick. There's no Teflon coating, so you don't need to worry about damaging the wok by the utensil. I'll link this wok in the description. You can check it out if you want. When most of the pork changes color, add half tablespoon of tian mian jiang and mix well. This is what I'm using. Tian mian jiang needs to be sauteed to activate the flavor. That is why I didn't add it to the sauce. Switch the heat to medium. Toss in the garlic and some green pepper. Keep mixing until the pepper is slightly wilted. This depends on your preference. If you want the pepper to be soft, you can cook it a little longer. I actually prefer it to be crunchy, so I didn't cook it for too long. Pour in the sauce and stir well. How quick and easy was that? This dish is known as rice killer recipe because it is really flavorful. Whenever it's on the dinner table, it makes you want to eat more rice. Mmm, wow, it's so good. The velveting technique is amazing. Seriously, you won't believe how tender the meat is. 
<laughs> the texture is like soft velvet, and it just melts in your mouth. Mm, delicious. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the printable recipe is in the description. Go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more easy and delicious Chinese recipes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.